Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Conda onto Colab and uh, you may want to do this for many reasons but why am I doing it? Because I am exploring a new library called TrackPy for, for, for tracking objects and then actually getting mean velocity of objects uh, and in case you don't know what I'm talking about, think of having a whole bunch of nuclei in a time series and uh, we segment the nuclei using one of the methods that I already talked about using uh, Voronoi or using Stardust. Either way, you have a time series that is segmented. Now all the objects are moving. I want to track it over the time and get some information about the about how these uh, nuclei are moving around. So for that, there's a great library called TrackPy. Again, I haven't explored it. I'll create a video as soon as I explore it in future, maybe in a month or so. That's exactly why you need to be hitting the subscribe button right now so you get notified when that is ready. So that's my motivation for installing Conda on Colab. Now, why can't I just use pip? Well, let's answer those questions while we walk through the code, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into our Colab uh, code. And uh, let me reiterate my motivation for installing Conda here. So I'm trying to install, as I already mentioned, TrackPy. And if you look at the documentation of TrackPy, if I go here, it says, okay, go ahead and uh, conda update and conda install trackpy, conda install PIMS. I believe that uh, that's what it's using to read different format images and all that. But either way, it's saying, okay, go ahead and use conda. And I looked for pip, which is normally what I do for uh, installation. So for pip, it says, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, we strongly recommend using conda to install trackpy. So I'm like, okay, let me not worry about pip. Let's try to see if I can do a uh, Conda installation. So I am, okay, I may as well install Conda as part of my Google Colab. Okay, now what version of Conda? I don't need the entire uh, you know, Conda here. I just need a mini Conda. And in case you don't know mini Conda, it's, it's a minimal version of Conda. And uh, it comes with its own version of Python. And it also comes with a few uh, packages, but on top of that, we can install our own uh, packages via conda install command. That is a quick uh, uh, introduction to mini conda. And now let's go ahead and uh, start executing these lines. Again, I'll share the document with you, so don't bother writing anything down. Uh, look for the document uh, link down under the description. Okay, so first thing first, let's see what uh, version of Python do we have as part of our default collab here. And it is located under user local bin, and this is where the Python uh, package is all downloaded onto the Linux uh, uh, system that we are working on right now, right? I mean, this is collab is on Linux, and this is where uh, the Python is, and the version of Python is 3.7.13. Now, why do I need to know this? In fact, I kind of don't care about this because with mini conda installation we are going to get our own version of python but i'm looking at this just to make sure okay if it is 3.7 maybe the version of python that i want to install is 3.7 uh, also for uh, mini conda that supports python 3.7 there's no rule like that it's just that i'm trying to do that yeah so if you want 3.9 go ahead and do that and this is july first part of july uh, 2022 and as of now, this is exactly what I'm getting uh, on Google Colab. Okay, so with that information, let's go down and I am going to clear the path for the environment. Why? Because I don't want my system to be confusing between two different versions of Python. So as a good habit, I'm trying to do this. Not necessary, I believe. And uh, down here, these are the lines that you probably tuned into this video for, which is uh, how to install Conda. And this is it. This is pretty much it. And uh, this is the version of Conda that I'm installing. Mini Conda 3, Pi 37, 4.12.0 is the version of Mini Conda, and it's going to be on Linux. And how do I know this script, this part? Well, I just went to the Conda documentation and I looked at, okay, what uh, version do I have? So I'm going to install this on a Linux system and go ahead and install that version, but I don't want the latest one. I want the one that supports Python 3.7. So I scroll down until I find uh, found Python 3.7 and Mini Conda 3 Linux 64 bit. Go ahead and right click, save link as. I'm not gonna save it, but it gives me the file name. Miniconda 3, Py 37, 4.12.0, Linux, blah, blah, blah. Copy that, and that's exactly what I pasted right here. And when I run this, 
this is what it is going to download and install okay so it did install uh, quite a few things so let us go ahead and clear the output i don't like having this much output sorry let's clear that and uh, now let's see where the conda installation got in uh, i mean it got installed uh, this would be the place user local bin conda because that's exactly where my python is user local bin python so it must be in user local bin it should create a folder called conda so that is where we should have all of our conda installed there you go and let's check what version of conda we have and it should be 4.12.0 because that's exactly what we are trying to install right here that's what our link mentions and also what uh, version of python it came with 3.7.13 okay great and now let's go ahead and update conda every time you do something again it's a good idea to update uh, conda that's exactly why when you go to any documentation it says conda update conda right so let's go ahead and do our uh, conda update okay there you go it shouldn't take that long so it's done let me close the output there and then let's check what version of conda we have hopefully it should still oh there's a new version 4.13.0 great uh, we updated that and python did it change the python version it's still the same and now we are all set to move forward but before saying that we are done one final step it installs anytime you have a pip install or conda installs it's actually installing that uh, library whatever that library is under site packages you can go back into your anaconda if you're using anaconda and then uh, see where your python installation is and look at site packages right so this is where all your numpies or whatever you download gets stored so we need to define that, that path if it's not already defined so first thing first let's go ahead and see what our paths are by importing sys and sys.path, right? So printing sys.path will give you this, and you can see my Python 3.7 is located under user lib Python 3.7. And uh, this is where we need to, within that uh, Python 3.7, we need to add our site packages. There is nothing like site packages here. There is distribution packages directory, but all our conda install are going to go into site packages. So we are to this paths, we are going to add uh, append another path called site packages within our Python 3.7. So there you go. Now, if I type run this command one more time, I should see that that got added right here, site packages. Okay, so all set now, good. Now go ahead and install whatever you want. This is how you get your conda installed onto your Google Colab. Now, if you want me to check TrackPy and PIMS, I haven't installed this yet. I have installed this on uh, my local Anaconda version where it asks me to uh, say yes a couple of times, one for TrackPy, one for PIMS, if I remember it correctly. But let us just uh, hit this and see if everything worked. I tested up to this point. I just added these two lines. Fingers crossed. Let's hope uh, everything goes uh, well. Let's figure out if uh, there are any issues, how we can fix them. But I'm hoping that should uh, that should work fine. So I will, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pause the video until it shows like uh, the yes or no thing and then we can continue because this may take a little longer uh, probably a minute couple of minutes depending on uh, depending on your uh, uh, net speed yeah okay so it has been running for a while and i walked away came back and obviously it says it's still executing six minutes later but it got stuck on uh, this question that we have, that i have to answer proceed yes or no so let's go ahead and say proceed yes and hit return and it should continue and uh, that's it this is how you install conda onto your uh, colab and then go ahead and use conda install for any other libraries that actually require conda so i hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial again uh, please go ahead and hit the like button subscribe button if you're feeling generous hit that button that says the dollar sign like contribute donate and so on so thank you guys